Hey everybody, what's going on? Herblin with another seven day roguelike challenge. Today we're going to be playing a little bit of Introvertia by Synapse. I think I'm saying that right. Synapse? Hopefully. Anyways, he's a, actually a pretty cool guy. He's working on another uh, roguelike called Axu, which is also great and I'd highly recommend checking it out. I think that's his main project right now. And uh, anyways, this is his uh, seven day roguelike uh, competition submission. It's kind of a goofy little game, actually. I played through it really quickly. It's not uh, not too long. I just wanted to test it out again before jumping into it with you guys. But uh, it was kind of funny. It struck home with me, uh, being a little bit introverted myself. So uh, in this game, you are Todney, an accountant. Uh, this weekend was supposed to be a relaxing getaway for yourself and your pregnant wife. Camping has always been something you've enjoyed, though this time is different. Everyone seems to have had the same idea. Uh, including many extroverts that you'd rather not affiliate with, Todney hates people and would prefer not to converse with them at all. All was going well until Todney's wife asked him to get a very peculiar type of food from a nearby store. Her pregnancy cravings were begging for some mint ice cream and olives. Alright, so the goal here is just keep moving north, get to the store without losing all your energy, and uh, in with your reputation intact. And each time you speak to someone, there's a cost. So it's all about just avoiding any kind of confrontation with anybody um, very similar to uh, to my real day-to-day -day life so it shouldn't uh, should come quite naturally to me let's try this out you can see uh, actually I do kind of like the graphics here it's well styled very uh, very cool little blue guy kind of running up the map and we've got red guys symbolizing the uh, the enemies all right so we've got uh, hair gel here it gives us plus one looks I think that gives us uh, special abilities when we're in a, in a conversation with somebody, though I'm not entirely sure how that works. I know the apples you can see over there on my left, those actually will give us more energy, so we do want to pick those up whenever possible. And right now there's not too many people on the screen, but it does get uh, quite busy later on. Ah, see this guy, he's spotted us, he's got that little uh, exclamation point above his head, and he's giving chase. Alright, so we managed to escape that without uh, a whole conversation. Another screen. This guy is right on us. There's two of them just following us. All right. And can we make it over to the red apple, I wonder? Hmm. Let's try. Just pump out across the screen. There we go. 30 energy. I'm not sure if it's supposed to go above 20 because it's saying 30 out of 20 energy. Shit, I walked into that guy. All right, so we've got Brent Weber here. Brent Weber, howdy. And then I say howdy back. He's like, I love camping. It's very peaceful out in the wilderness. I feel so connected to nature. Yeah, I'd be pretty annoyed uh, running into this guy too. Uh, so we can give him a vague response, a detailed response. We can attempt to leave. Um, we can give a flirty, re flirty response, which I think is due to the hair gel, and an annoyed response, or we can say I have to poop. Um, I think saying I have to poop is going to give us... Um, yeah, it's going to kill our reputation. Yeah, negative 10... Uh, reputation, though nobody's going to question you, you can definitely leave. Um, we have an annoyed response that we can do. Uh, flirty response, that's going to wear out four of his patience. See, patience is kind of like the, um, it's kind of like a uh, an energy meter in this game. This actually takes no energy to do a flirty response, so that's really cool. So, uh, I'm sure enjoying the view right now. Okay, he's like, anyways, I'll let you go, bye. I'm not sure if that's because he's awkwarded out or if that just, you know satisfied uh, his conversational needs with me. Bit weird. So, next screen. Oh, we got lots of apples, but there are ah, people in the way. People, people. There's glasses over here. I think these allow us to do witty responses. So once that hair gel runs out, we can no longer do flirty responses, and we are stuck chatting with people. Ah, shit. Got caught again, this time by Mackie Mills. Or Maddie Mills. That says, that says Mackie. Mackley? Or something up at the top. And this is Maddie. I don't know. Anyways, Maddie Mills. Hello. And I say hello back. Great weather today. So I can... Uh, let's try a witty response this time. Let's see what that does. Witty response. Yeah, that's going to wear out some of my energy. But uh, let's just try it out. Oh, that gives some negative rep. That's weird. Alright, so great weather today. Boy, we must be running out of things to talk about. Ha ha ha, how's the wife? So she still wants to talk. Let's do a flirty response to how's the wife. Not nearly as good looking as you. Wow. Anyways, I'll let you go. Bye. Yeah, I definitely think the flirty responses are probably just weirding these people right the fuck out. Because 
that's uh that's a little awkward he sure knows a lot of people these people all seem to know him for an introvert this guy has a lot of uh a lot of i don't know acquaintances okay we made it through another screen without uh single conversation yeah we're getting stuck into this one how's the wife uh so we've ran out of hair gel we can no longer do a flirty response so let's just try a witty one uh still alive ha 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 any good books lately um man i really need to get around to learning to read ha 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 anyways i'll let you go all right i like how they disappear after you talk to them like you've vanquished them you've defeated them by just chatting with them for a few minutes shit we got cornered again um Let's see, we can give a, you know, a detailed response is smarter here because it takes up two energy and kills off three patients, whereas a, a vague response is going to take up one of their patients and only one of their energy. Though, actually, if we do the witty response, it's going to use up the rest of our glasses probably, but that's uh, that's how we're going to get out of this one. So just catch the game last week. Ah, yes, good old sports ball. Laugh, laugh, laugh. I'll let you go. Yeah. I don't see how this guy has any reputation left intact at all. Um, so this guy wants to know if we've read any books. Oh, we still have a little bit of glasses left. Let's use those up. Holy shit, this guy has a lot of patience. I love camping. It's very peaceful out in the wilderness. I feel so connected to nature. Witty response. Makes you want to move out here, strip naked, and live amongst the bears, eh? <laughs> and what's your favorite movie? Oh, God. Vague response. I don't have one. All right, I'll let you go. Yeah. Jesus. Look at them all. They're flocking us. Oh, man. Steve in Denver this time. I didn't expect to see so many people this weekend. Uh, yeah. Me either, buddy. Uh, so let's see. If we use an annoyed response, it's not going to take up any of our energy. I'm going to try that. It's just going to kill a little bit of our reputation. I just want to try it out. I didn't expect to see many people out here this weekend. I really wish I picked another weekend to have a relaxing trip. Uh, great weather today. Yeah, like he, these people don't get the hint. It's very much like real life sometimes. Um, so let's try a let's try a witty response here. Kill off four of that patience. And what's your favorite movie? We'll kill that off with a vague response and say I don't have one. And uh, Stephen Denver has been defeated. Ah, look at them all. They're chasing us. It's like a train. Damn. All right. Oh, there's glasses. I really want those glasses. They'll allow me to make much wittier responses than I'm currently able to do. Shit. Ah, oh, we got caught. Um, so hello. So Doreen McMillan here asks if we've read any good books lately. And then uh, books. I can't even recall what those are. I do my reading on the internet. All right, so we've worn her patience out thin, and we're able to escape. Doreen has been vanquished. Oh, geez, that's a lot of people. Let's grab the scarf. I think that that's going to give us a, a stealth, I, I think. Maybe lowers the... Uh... Oh, we got caught here. I think if we have stealth, maybe it lowers like the aggro range. I'm not, uh, not entirely sure about that. So, what's your favorite movie? Um, damn, we only have seven reputation. I can't afford the uh, I have to poop option. Let's try. Let's just go with the witty response again. Actually, you know what? We could. Uh, if we attempt to leave, it's only a 12% chance. Uh, we could give a detailed response. Uh, I really enjoyed the movie Memento, though not nearly many people have. Not nearly enough people have seen it. Now that guy's annoyed. Memento. God. That was a weird movie. Ooh. All right. What's that uh, red upside down bowl thing over there? Is that a hat? Ah, oh, shit. We got caught again. Uh, what's your favorite movie? And let's just do the witty response. Oh, geez. This guy has really got a lot of patience built up here. Uh, did you catch the game last week? Good old sports ball. And uh, let's finish him off with a vague response. And uh, he's going to let us go now. Oh god, the vague response kills our reputation. I didn't even realize that. We're low on rep and energy. We might not make it. Ooh, baseball cap plus one bluff. Uh, eat the apple. We got some energy back. Oh, we made it to the store. And 
She wants mint ice cream and olives. So I like this that we get all the way to the store and you can completely forget what you're supposed to uh, to pick up. It's mint ice cream and olives, though. I, I just want to see what happens if I pick the wrong one. Uh, let's just get her french fries and ice cream. You win. That's hilarious. You win. You return to your wife with the wrong food. But she eats it anyways. Uh, she is a little disappointed. And we can just try again. That's the entire game. I think that's hilarious. If you get to the end, you pick up ice cream and olives, you also win. So I, I think there's just no losing. Um, let's just quickly... I'm not going to go through the whole thing again. But let's just go run into somebody and see what kind of conversations we can have here. So one guy is all the way over there. All right. So, yeah, we can actually try to fake an important call. Uh, oops, looks like someone's calling me. I have to take this. And Lisa Weber has just let us go. And that's uh, taken up very little of anything since it was a success. Yeah, an attempt to, yeah, a fake important call. Oh, you gain a reputation, but it takes up two energy. That's kind of cool because you look important. So people are like, wow, that guy's awesome. And they give you rep. Um, let's try the I have to poop thing. I really have to poop. Get out of my way. And then Jerome is just, yeah, okay. Let you go. So that's kind of, I think we've gone through most of the options of this game. Um, I mean, it's a funny little game. It's uh, it's fun for a laugh. It's fun to just kind of run through it. Yeah, I, I understand the humor in it. I, like I said, I'm fairly introverted myself. Um, get kind of, like, especially if I'm out in public, you know, running into people, sometimes you're always looking for that way out of the conversation. Uh, so this is kind of funny. Um, it's a, it's fun to play through it. It's really quick, though. It's kind of what you'd expect from like the seven day uh, roguelike challenge with a, with a nice twist. I like I like uh, seeing some of these games that have, you know, they've put it in some kind of um, I don't know, like an art not I guess like an artistic, creative side, uh, not making the traditional walk into things and fight everything type roguelikes. You know, like so far we played Book of Rogue. And uh, Arkham After Midnight, and now this. And they're all, you know, not your standard um, roguelikes, just walking into things and pure fighting. I, I think there there's a lot of creativity going on with this challenge, and I'm really enjoying it so far. What do you guys think? Leave a comment, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, please do. I really enjoy seeing this channel grow, and I'll uh, keep trying to put out the content for you guys, to keep you guys up to date with that. But uh, anyways, guys... Uh, until next time, thank you so much for joining me. It's been a lot of fun.